think that's how it works is, you know, inspiration. We have that usually a moment of inspiration or a period of inspiration where we're just so clear and we, we kind of really get it. And then the doubt and the fear begin to mm. creep in and we start to question it and like, but how am I ever going to do it? And why are people ever going to listen to me? And, you know, Wayne Dyer and Susan Jeffers and Marion Williamson say mm. it so much better than I could ever say it. Mm. So why would anybody ever want to listen to me? You know, like inspiration to dead in the water in yes. you know, a few minutes. Yeah. And that's yeah, how yeah. most of us operate. But it's just to keep that level of awareness. So for me, you know, one of the things about being a spiritual pro is we are fully aware that our resistance is likely to kick in. Yes. And we also have this awareness that actually the more important a project is or a step is or an action is, actually the more likely we are and the bigger the resistance right. we're likely to hit. Yeah. So we almost use our resistance as a navigation tool. So, you know, we can use our inspiration to navigate, but we can also use our resistance to navigate. It's like, well, what's the thing I'm most terrified of? What am I telling myself mm. I can never do? Because there's probably real juice in that, and that's actually the direction to head in. Yeah. So, to me, you know, spiritual pros are usually incredibly courageous people. Yeah. You know, they're willing just to keep moving in the direction of their fear. Mm.